Robert M. Shoemaker is a well-known name in Killeen and in Central Texas. A four-star general, Shoemaker died in Harker Heights at the age of 93 in June of 2017. Our Sierra Shipley joins us now live in studio. Sierra, tell us about the impact he had on the community. Well, everyone that I talked to that had a chance to meet him, even for a moment, had nothing but kind words to say. General Robert M. Shoemaker made a lasting impact, impact that will last a lifetime on the Central Texas community. Dedication and commitment, compassion. Courageous uh, and uh, a very, very wise man. Oh, he loved them all. Four-star General Robert Morin Shoemaker had nothing short of a big heart. Lifelong friend Lieutenant General retired Pete Taylor followed Shoemaker into battle during the Vietnam War. You had confidence that he was uh, going to take care of you and he was going to treat you right and he was going to get you there and back. That sense of leadership didn't stop after 36 years of serving in the Army. Shoemaker served as Bell County Commissioner, President of the Heart of Texas Council of the Boy Scouts, and the Fort Hood Chapter of the United Way, and helped accomplish so much more. Because he never retired either. He, he continued work. He's one of the main, main reasons this university is here. The first warrior legend to be named at the Texas A&M Central Texas campus, Shoemaker and Taylor worked to get the campus approved by the legislature. And that wasn't the only school he was dedicated to. This is Bob Shoemaker with a few words for you about helpfulness. He would say, how are my grandkids today, you know, and it's just Shoemaker. We are Shoemaker. Walking the halls of his high school regularly. That high school put five more years on his life, I know it did. First thing you did, somebody come to see us, you take him out to high school. Enjoying every last moment, General Shoemaker passed at 93 years old. And I had him holding his hand, and all of a sudden his hand just squeezed my his terribly strong fingers, and he just squeezed my fingers so they almost hurt, and that was the end. I looked, and, and he was and there was no light in his face at all. Leaving behind 50 years of friendship. We lost a legend. And stories to tell. There's a beginning and there's an end, but all that stuff in between, and you look at a life well lived, man. Now forever resting at the Central Texas Veterans Cemetery with the ones he's served with. Well, you wanted to be buried with his troops, and he sure won that one, didn't he? I probably would have been, been afraid to have called him a friend at that time. <laughs> but uh, he considered me a friend because I was one of, his, one of his soldiers. Earlier this year, the old Carl R. Darnell Hospital building was renamed to General Robert M. Shoemaker Center in his honor. The center will house many of Fort Hood's helping agencies. So it's just a truly amazing story that will be told for years. 